Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim where I continue my new fly career. We are currently in South Korea and I would like to visit Busan Tower. Uh, I have to figure out we are in at uh, emergency airfield for some reason. Some people wanted to go there. Is there a ramp? There is a ramp here. Okay, there is apparently parking right on the runway. Okay, we'll take that so that we can start not active because that's probably for the best and let's take a look at neofly to see what kind of missions we can get taking a look we do see such a mission uh we have it's just 32 nautical miles 6000 seems like a good deal uh quickie so we'll just take a look at busan tower and see how it goes so anyway, we'll start at Namji Emergency Airfield. We are live. Real world weather, right? Real world weather, yeah. Okay, let's go. The weather looks perfect for photos. Okie dokie. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. I'm just gonna tell them I'm departing south. Okay, here we go. Okay, head to Busan. Looking good. Not all bits of South Korea have looked good, but this approach is okay. These buildings are interesting. Well, a lot of different sizes. Okay, can I get some information on this river coming up? No, the map isn't saying anything. I mean, there's a river delta. Gosh darn it, Google Map has it in Korean. Um, come on, Google Map, help me out here. Let's avoid the airport. Maybe on here. Why does it have, like, the interstate symbol like that? Hmm. Interesting. Guess we might have been involved somehow, but... I'm looking at the river, and it's, it's not helping me out with a name. Okay, where exactly in all these hills is... Busan Tower? Well, that's a lot of smokestacks. Okay, well... Transporter, you are less than two nautical miles from the POI. Stay under 1,000 feet. Well, it's gonna be hard with all these, um, mountains. You mean above ground level or above sea level? the POI as close as possible until they are done taking pictures. Where the frack is the POI? Uh, well, I hope they can see it, because I can't. It should be somewhere. <laughs> Should be somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm getting a little bit high. Transporter from dispatch. 
Enough pictures for today. Okay, good. Job. good. You can come back. Well, I'm glad they spotted it before I did. We were actually a little bit higher than 1,000, I thought, but I guess it's pretty lenient about the height. Busan Tower, folks. They should probably highlight our return airport, too, when we've gone past the POI. Okay, let me try and get the name of this river. I just need Wikipedia to tell me... Okay, it says the most densely built up areas of the city are situated in a number of narrow valleys between the Nakdong and Suyong rivers. I don't know exactly how to pronounce those, but N-A-K-D-O-N-G and S-U-Y-E-O-N-G rivers. There's a crane there for some reason. I don't know what it's... Oh, maybe that's, a, a, that's actually a tower. Are you a tower or a crane? No, you're a crane. I don't know what it's doing there. Maybe that area is supposed to be built up more than it seems. Okay, announcing landing. Wait. Um, Romeo probably Alpha could just Charlie go on final. Alpha well, it went from being too shallow to being too steep. Typical. Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut well, down. Well, there's no engine. real parking assignment per se. We're just gonna go off to the side here. Transporter, you can disembark the tourists. Just a 30 minute flight. All right. Hopefully you'll be happy. Disembarking complete. I will call you when I have more tourists for you. Uh, okay, we'll see about that. How hard was this land, geez. Um, this one was, it says 103. Uh, it did register a zero for the one that was reverted. So that was a reverted one. That doesn't count, actually. Okay, I want to go back to Japan. RJDA doesn't seem too bad. We might as well just go with this. It's just south of Nagasaki. Clothes to Amakusa. Amakusa. Okay, so I'm going to take that one. Good morning, pilot. Ready for your cargo mission? Okay, so that's all right. Let's start her up. Nope. Okay, well that doesn't want to... Oh, okay, huh. The, the flick, the, the switch wasn't looking like it was flicking up. Oh, that was some delay. Okay. Um, we are going to go south. And we're going to depart south. Romeo Kilo Charlie Hotel. Okay, off we go back to Japan. Have a safe journey, pilot. That's some load you have there. Yep. Filled to the rim. Okay, so there is an airport in uh, at Tsushima. Tsushima. If we were to have any problems. Oh yeah, we actually have the fuel indicator on the wing tanks there. But, but, that says 15. Well, I don't know about attention to detail, I'm about to say. That shows 15 there. This shows 24 here. 
<laughs> so, um... Hmm. I don't know if they match match. Okay, so Port of Busan, and we are headed out. Interesting to have a port configuration like this when, you know, there's, there's a waterway over here. But this port very decisively ignores this, this side. Okay, Tsushima. Wasn't there a game? Or am I m misremembering? Tsushima. There's a Ghost of Sh Tsushima game. So, this island is uh, Tsushima, where Ghost of Tsushima is set. And it's about a fictionalized account of the Mongol invasion of 1274. So, the Mongols, of course, I guess we're using this as a stopover point to invade Japan. I wanted to spot the airport on Tsushima, but I guess not. <laughs> okay, what's this next island that we're coming up on? Tsushima was interesting. Ikinoshima? Ikinoshima means Iki's Island, and there's a city called Iki there, and Iki Airport, I-K-I. Well, I guess it's Iki's Island. That's the one there, Ikinoshima, and there's the city of Iki. The wind never seems to help us. Going to Korea, we had a headwind. Now we still have a headwind. <laughs> I, th I thought for sure that it would go the other way this time. But um, it's only a, a it's a more of a crosswind actually. But it's 27 knots, so that's not great. That Ikinoshima has a very interesting sort of ridge there. At least it looks like that. Uh Maybe that's just some weird visual effect, because I don't see it on the map, per se. Alright, well, Kyushu in view. Switching fuel tanks, careful not to go to off. But here we are, making landfall back in Japan. What is this town? Hamasaki. Hamasaki is... Uh, hmm. I guess Hamasaki, yeah. Though I swear, uh, kanji makes it look like Hamatama. <laughs> but uh, I can understand why they wouldn't want to go with that name. Well, but no, but wait, they do have a Hamatama fishing port. So maybe it's Hamatama, not Hamasaki? But the train station is Hamasaki. This is very confusing. We're just bringing clothes down to Amakusa. Longest runway, 3,233 feet. Hmm. I, I probably should have paid more attention to that. Uh, but that, that should be fine and everything. That's, that's not a problem, but it, it is a fairly short runway. To our forward left there is the city of Saga. Pretty large area. There's a causeway here. No name on it. Yeah, there's just one that we declare. Um, let's say 13. I feel like we're probably going to be coming around. Romeo Juliet 
Delta Alpha traffic Ray Ice Romeo Alpha 4128 miles north 2000 It's a uh, short runway so we have to take a good look at it Okay, autopilot off. Is that it over there? Well, this is the headwind direction. <laughs> so, um, well, we'll try our best, but it's mostly going to be a crosswind, maybe? No, uh, yeah, probably. Not a super long runway. A little bit of speed brake. Uh, a little bit of flap. Okay, mm wow. The mountains are producing some interesting winds. It's about 19 knot, sort of like 45 degree angle wind. That was a harder landing than uh, I expected. It didn't seem like it was going to be that hard. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. Um, uh, I don't think there's a taxiway around here. I, oh, it's back there. I think we should just go around on on the runway here. Go here. Fine. Stand by, pilot. Oh, I've Cargo reached a new rank. It says that I am second officer now. Came up with a pop up. I finally reached second officer. I can carry radioactive. Well, maybe I can carry radioactive waste. I'm not sure. Okay, hour and 26 minutes, that was a while. Okay, but we're nearly at $100,000. And then we also get back the, the deposit, the 67,000. So I have 167,000. Now the aircraft markets don't seem to have anything to do with the size of the airport. So let's check here, even though it's a tiny, tiny airport. So they are all small, except for there's one DC-6 for some reason. So now it says, because I'm a second officer, I can do more stuff. Maybe, uh, it looks like radioactive waste is a thing. They have that much radioactive waste? But radioactive waste means that I have to land at... Uh, can't I pull this up? Okay. Uh, land at less than 200 feet per minute, which is not what we did there. Bank pitch ang Pitch plane is less than 31 degrees and vertical rate is less than 500. The biggest problem would be the vertical weight rate because we tend to have gusts, especially in this plane, and that knocks our rate really far off from that. So, hmm. Yeah, but, but, there's possible. Hey, bringing fuel to, oh, that's that emergency airfield in South Korea again. You could bring fuel, apparently. Whiskey. Whiskey is a fragile thing, so we have to land at a soft rate. But that's more doable than the radioactive waste thing. Anyway, I'll see what we can do about those. This is DZ. Oh, this, this is for jump. 
they'll have to jump out of the plane. Can they even jump out of this plane? I don't really see the door except if it's that hatch at the top. There's steps. There's a step on this side. I guess they go down there, but I don't know. Anyway, it'd be a weird plane to do skydiving with, let's put it that way. I don't know if that's what we should be doing with this. Anyway, we will contemplate more interesting missions next time for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.